Yo, what is up, Digifams? It's Lobomon for Game Today, and here we are with another battle between Bond of Friendship versus Green OTK with both EX01 update. Now, my opponent on the right, Jerome, is going to evolve into an Arbomon, and then Digivolves into Arbomon, putting me to two. I hatch my egg, and unfortunately, I whiffed a rookie, even though we're playing like about 16 plus rookies in this deck. Um, but we're gonna go and start strong. We're gonna go ahead and play the Davis. I was debating if I wanted to go ahead and play Matt, but Matt's not going to do any good if I don't have a rookie on my egg. And so the Davis top 3 check and added the Gabumon from EX01. My opponent's just going to go ahead and play Terriermon, putting me to 1, but I'm going to go ahead and reset back to 3. I'm going to go ahead and look at my hand. It's kind of awkward at the moment. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do at first, but then planning it through, it looks like I'm just going to go ahead and play the Gabu Draw. going to put him to 0, or put myself to 0. And I drew into the Ice Wall. So Ice Wall is going to go ahead and be played at this point. That way I can prevent him from swinging too early. Because I need a setup. Now Ice Wall is such a nasty card. Being able to play that at 4. Just because it's a 1 cost. So you get to memory choke them. And it's your opponent losing memory. Not you gaining memory. So Terrier Mon doesn't actually avoid that. He's just going to go ahead and Digivolve into his Lilumon And his Raising. Passing me back to 3. With Davis resetting. I'm going to go ahead and Digivolve my Gabumon into an Octomon. I'm going to go ahead and swing into security and I'm activating the EX01 Gabumon. I top check the three. I'm going to go ahead and add the Gabu draw, putting the uh, Matt and the Lobomon back to the bottom. So I had the Ikakumon in hand, so I was attempting to play Spark, but I forgot Terriermon shuts down my memory gain. So right now it looks like all my Sparks are currently dead at the moment. So from here I'm debating what I wanted to do next. I could just pass him one by digivolving into an Ikakumon, that way I can swing into it next turn. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go and pass him 2 by playing Matt. Now he's going to promote his Lilomon, and from there I totally forgot that Nidhogg exists. So he's going to go ahead and bottom deck all my Digimons actually because they are rested, or anything that's below 5k, 5k or less is going to be bottom deck also, because it's going to be rested by its effect. I'm going to digivolve in my raising with a Jabu Gabu, then I'm going to go ahead and play the map, putting me to 0. I'm not too sure what I wanted to do from here. I mean, I could just play another Ice Wall because my Hammer Sparks are dead right now, or I could play a Blocker. But I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Jabu Gabu, and I actually drew into Analog Youth from EX01. Now you're gonna see this card in play because this is where the spicy stuff comes in. My opponent's gonna go ahead and swing with Nidhogg first, uh, chips off one damage. And then he's gonna go ahead and Digivolve into Chaos Mon. And now Chaos Mon's gonna go ahead and unsuspend and attack a unsuspended Digimon and it's gonna do piercing. So I decided to go ahead and promote my Gabumon. I'm gonna gain the extra three memory and draw three cards off of that since I have triple mat on the board. And then I'm gonna go and play the analog youth, putting my memory to four. I'm gonna top three check. I'm gonna add the Gabubon, trashing the other two cards. Go into the Gabumon play, trashing two of my security. I'm at one memory now and I need to get rid of this Chaos Mon because that's a threat. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to swing into his security and I'm going to go ahead and bottom deck his Terriermon. That way I can start abusing my memories because I have all the sparks in my hand. Chip off one damage. Uh, Chaos Mon is still a threat. I'm going to go and swing into it because it's the same DP so we're both 14. Analog is going to kick in. I'm going to arrest it, gain a memory. I'm going to go ahead and hatch my egg. Then Digivolve into a BT6 Gobblemon. That way it's ready for next turn. Then from here... Now that I have the memory to use, I kind of went a little bit crazy with it. I'm not too sure why I overthought it, but I played the Ice Wall first. Then I started playing more Sparks. Uh, yep, we put myself to two, putting myself to three. Then I went for the Blocker game. That way, if he swings, I can block and still gain memory. That way, it won't be lethal if he goes wide. But he's just going to go ahead and Digivolve all the way up until Lilomon and his Raising. My Gabumon's gonna be promoted and I'm gonna draw three. I drew into two more Ice Walls, which is pretty nutty. But I'm gonna go for the Gabumon play. I'm gonna go ahead and swing, restand, swing once more, and then swing for the last one. But he's gonna go and activate Analog Youth first since I activate some security. That was a little misplay on his end though because Analog Youth is supposed to trash the other two cards, but he accidentally bottom decked them instead. But I went for Lobomon uh, to secure game one, and now we're gonna go into game two. Now heading into game two, Jerome is going to go ahead and go first. He's going to Digivolve into Terriermon, 
and then he digivolves over it with a Weedmon. Now, I was scared at first because I saw it, that it was in his raising already. But because he digivolved over it, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can abuse my memory. So I went for the Madoki Betamon first, then digivolved it into a Octomon because I felt like Madoki Betamon doesn't really do anything for this matchup. Now, he's just gonna go ahead and play Mimi, putting me to three. I promote my Octomon, gonna swing into security. I swing into another Mimi, so that's kind of scary because now he's able to abuse his raising area. I played double mat since he's gonna be reset back to three. He went ahead and promoted his Weedmon, Digivolves it into Lilamon, then he's gonna rest Mimi to go ahead and hatch an egg, and then Digivolve over it. Lilamon's gonna go ahead and swing, I believe it had an extra 1000 DP over it, so it kills my Octomon. He's gonna rest Mimi to go and promote his level 3, gonna swing into my security, that way he can start rushing in. And then from there, he's gonna go ahead and play his own Analog Youth again. He's gonna go in top 3, he's gonna add Blossomon. I mean, they're both awesome ones, so he's gonna have to add one either way, but he's gonna go ahead and trash the other two. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and digivolve into my BT6 Gabumon, that way it's ready for next turn. I'm not too sure what I wanted to do from here, but it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and spam a spark. Then I'm gonna go play the Howling Memory Boost just to remove materials from his sources. Now, reason being I did that was so I can go ahead and make sure that he doesn't OTK me with his Grand Kolagamon. Um, I was at 0, not at 1, so I put it back to 0, then I played the Ice Wall, putting him at 1, and then Mimi's gonna reset him back to 3. Now Grand Kuraga is gonna go ahead and Digiburst. It's gonna have 2 checks only. And because he's swinging, Ice Wall's gonna kick in, making him lose 2 memory. Checks a Gobum on the first swing, and checks a Davis on the second. Davis is gonna top 3 check, adding the Lobum onto my hand. And then Davis is gonna reset me back to 3. I promote, putting my memory to 5 with double mat. I drew into my analog view, but I don't need it at this point. What I can do is go for the Gobumon play. What I'm doing right now is just viewing my hand to make sure that I have enough memory and enough swings to game him this turn, otherwise I lose next turn. Right now I have 5 memory to work with, potentially 7 when I use it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Gobumon first, putting me to 2, and then I'm going to trash the top 2 security. Decided that I'm going to go ahead and use the boost now, putting me to 4. Now Gabumon's gonna go ahead and swing, restand by its effect. I'm gonna draw. Swing, restand once more by the inheritables. Then I'm gonna go ahead and swing once more, which is its final attack. And then because I have 4 memory to work with, I do have the double Lobo in hand. And that's gonna be double Lobomon for game, guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. This is Lobomon for game, signing out. Peace.